everyone, welcome back to Readeroo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today we're going to read about one of our favorite characters. It's Ladybug Girl and the Dress Up Dilemma. Let's find out if for Halloween she goes as the ladybug she usually is or something else. Ladybug Girl and the Dress Up Dilemma by David Soman and Jackie Davis. I can't believe it's already Halloween, says Lulu, jumping into a giant pile of leaves with her brother. What are you going to dress up as? Her brother asks her. Ladybug girl, of course, she replies. Again, he says. You're always ladybug girl. You should be something different on Halloween. Lulu stares up at the clear autumn sky. She thought she knew what she wanted to be for Halloween, but now she's not so sure. What if her brother is right? But what should she be? Tonight is Halloween and her family is going apple picking this afternoon. She doesn't have a lot of time. Come on, Bingo, we have work to do. Lulu opens up every drawer, cabinet, and closet to see what she can find for a new costume. When she sees the big box she was saving to build a fort with, she has a great idea. I know, Bingo, she says. What if I'm a robot? After some careful cutting and drawing, Lulu is ready. Everyone will definitely like this. She tries to go through the door to show her brother, but she can barely fit. This won't do. Lulu gets out of the box and sees an old fashioned hat. I have an even better idea, Bingo, she says. I'll dress up as a silent movie star. She finds striped pants and a jacket, a bow tie and a cane. She draws on a mustache with mama's makeup. Lulu can move much better in this costume. But when she realizes there's one big problem, a silent movie star can't ask for candy. This would never work for trick or treating. What else could she be? An octopus? An alien? A wallaby? Maybe Lulu should be her favorite animal, a panda. When she sees Bingo lying on a cape, Lulu gets another idea. In a flurry of makeup and clothes, she is ready. Lulu is convinced that this is the best costume ever. She hears her brother coming down the hallway and decides to surprise him. Boo! She yells, leaping out at him. What are you? He asks. A vampire panda, she proclaims. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard of, he says and walks away. Well, I guess it would be too scary for little kids, Lulu says. Back to the drawing board, Bingo. It's time to go to the orchard, says Lulu's mama, appearing at the door. But first, maybe a little cleanup. Even though Lulu still isn't sure about her costume, it's time to go. Everyone has to bundle up to keep warm against the crisp, autumn day. After a winding drive through the mountains, Lulu and her family arrive at the apple orchard. They're each given paper bags and head out into the rows of bendy apple trees. Lulu finds a good climbing tree and scrambles high up into the branches. Bingo looks very tiny from so far away. Hello down there, she calls. Lulu climbs down to twist the apples off the crooked branches. She hears her brother talking about his super ninja costume. What if she was a super ninja too? No, she would never ever copy her brother, not in a million years. After leaving their apples back in the car, Lulu and her family pass through a field dotted with orange pumpkins and a scarecrow. Maybe she could dress as a scarecrow, or a bat, or even a pumpkin. 
but something about them just doesn't seem right. Then she sees the hayride, a beautiful old tractor covered in mud waiting to pull them. Lulu and Bingo climb up on a hay bale and sit next to a girl eating popcorn. The girl turns to Lulu and asks, what are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know yet, Lulu answers quietly. I'm going to be a princess. You could be one too, the girl says. Thank you, Lulu replies, but she isn't in a princess mood. She still doesn't know what to dress as, and tonight is Halloween. The farmer drops them at the corn maze and Lulu's brother dashes in ahead of her. Lulu and Bingo walk into the towering corn stalks that rattle and sway in the breeze. As the dried leaves and hay crunch under her feet, Lulu wonders why none of her ideas are working. Not the robot, or the movie star, or the scarecrow, or even vampire panda. She's not sure what to do. The lanes of the maze are long and narrow, and it's confusing to know which way to go. There are so many choices, and some of them are dead ends. Then Lulu hears a noise behind her. It's the little girl from the hayride. Hi, Lulu says, but the girl doesn't say anything. Are you lost? Lulu asks her. The girl nods, too scared to speak. This is a job for a ladybug girl. She whips off her coat and hat and her wings and antenna spring to life. Ladybug girl takes the girl's hand and looks around for which way to go. Then she notices Bingo sniffing at something on the ground. That's it, Bingo, popcorn. Come on, let's follow the trail. They follow the trail of popcorn and as they round a corner, the girl yells out, Mommy! There you are, Maya. The girl's mom gives her a hug. Looking at Lulu, she says, And who are you? I'm Ladybug Girl. Ladybug Girl takes the girl's hand and looks around for which way to go. Then she notices Bingo sniffing something on the ground. That's it, Bingo, popcorn. Come on, let's follow the trail. They follow the trail of popcorn and as they round a corner, the girl yells out, Mommy. There you are, Maya. The girl's mom gives her a hug. Looking at Lulu, she asks, and who are you? I'm Ladybug Girl. Later, as they head out to go trick-or-treating, Lulu's brother says, So you decided to be Ladybug Girl after all? Yes, she says, striding down the sidewalk. I always knew that I wanted to be Ladybug Girl. I loved reading with you today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up below. If you want to see all of the books we read in the future, make sure to click the subscribe button. We have activities to go along with all the books we read. To access them, all you have to do is click the Readeroo Kids link below in the description, or you can just head over to our website. There we do games, puzzles, and even some science experiments. If you'd like to get free activities, you can follow us on all of our social media. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Readeroo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.